Hello. <clears throat> Hopefully everything is working audio-wise. It's been a couple of months at least since I last streamed. I've been very busy uh, doing some theater stuff. There's going to be a sound. Apologies. I'm adjusting the mic. Um, but desperately missed role-playing. Very excited to get back into it. I've played a little bit yesterday off stream and a little bit just now before starting the stream um so there's a couple people that know elliot teller is back uh our boy is looking a little disheveled compared to uh how he once was he's been uh gone for a couple of months himself traveling with a group of mummers <coughs> putting on shakespeare's much ado about nothing um, working in a dramaturgical capacity uh, and occasionally performing, but for the most part, advising. Uh, and so we see here a more disheveled Elliot Teller than uh, than we left. His hair is longer, uh, his beard's a bit unruly, his clothes a bit unkempt, um, but still the same old alcoholic pain in the ass poet he always was. <coughs> Anyway, without further ado, let's get back into it. It is early, <clears throat> so there's not a lot of people on on uh, on this uh, server at the moment. But yesterday we ran into. Um, Ezra Thatcher, who was the sort of revolutionary-minded uh, individual we met on a drunken night out several months ago. We encountered him while we were walking from Valentine to um, San Denis. <coughs> Not too many major changes to uh, Elliot's character in the time that he was traveling. He's largely the same pain in the ass he's always been. Um, he's just not trying as hard to uh, appear clean cut. Still has issues with horses. So he's getting better about carts. Apologies, uh, there's quite a bit of smoke where I am at the moment, so I'm, um, my, I've been, I've been a bit mucusy. I'm always a little bit mucusy, though. You guys mostly know that if you've watched me at all. Oh, ah. me. Good day. Hello. Didn't suppose you have time for a census. A census? Um, uh, absolutely, yes. I'm a census taker. You know, uh, take censuses of people. All right, sure. Oh, wonderful. Yes, uh, you know, the last person I asked just ran away. But uh, I got a deputy <laughs> down, at least. Uh, so I have a, a few questions to go over. If you're, you do, Would you like to move away from the telegram station? Oh, or, sure, uh, yes. Let's get out of people's way. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. How do you do? Right, this should be fine. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, right. Let's get my book out. Um, I'm uh, Rupert Romano, by the way, just uh, in case you uh, need my... Uh, teller. 
Uh, pleasure uh, to meet wonderful you, name. Uh, well, yes, uh, I'm going to... Is, is that name... Uh, is that your birth name there? Yes, it is the name uh, I was born. Is that your full name? Do you have a middle name? Um... No, no, I, it's just Elliot Teller. Some people call yeah, me wonderful. Elliot fucking Teller, but that's not an, uh, an official yeah, I'm name. Sure I'm sure your lady friends do, but I'm not your lady friends. Uh, could you uh, spell your name out for me, just in case? Because you wouldn't sure. believe the spellings that people have for their names all around the entirety of the US. It's awful. Uh, Some yes. people uh, spell their names that should have T's in it with a Z. Uh, well, uh, mine is fairly straightforward. It is E L L I O T, and then Teller is T E L L E R. Oh, wonderful! And you said that is the uh, that's your birth name, and also <coughs> your name hasn't changed since birth. Yes. Mm, correct. Wonderful. And uh, your age, sir? Uh, well, I haven't been keeping very close track, but I reckon I've seen my thirty-fifth year come and go by now. Uh, you you don't remember your birthday? The year... Mm, fuck. Uh, more so the things. month and the day. Uh, well, I was born in February. Uh, February the 2nd, I believe. That's my actual birthday. I ran out of ideas. Uh, wonderful. Uh, thank you. Uh, and your address? I'm currently between addresses. Homeless. Absolutely. Yes, essentially. So I've been traveling with uh, entertainers for the last couple of months. And, uh, so. I, I know it might seem uh, redundant, but how many people reside at your address? <clears throat> yes, uh, none. Uh, thank you. Uh, apart from yourself, obviously. Well, I don't have an address, so arguably not even me. Uh, absolutely. I have to ask the question. And do you have any children? <clears throat> not that I'm aware of. Uh, no. Uh, marital status? Uh, not married. Divorced? Nope. Never uh, quite crossed that bridge. Uh, absolutely. It's a terrible bridge to cross, trust me. You know, being a census taker, I get to see everyone split up with their other halves. They swear to me as the love of their life for every year prior. Um, and uh, yes, I suppose you don't have a spouse because of that. Uh, your current employment? Um, well, I'm, I'm a poet. And occasionally people will pay me to write poetry for them. Uh, wonderful, that, wonderful. Um, could you... Uh, oh, oh, sorry, beyond that, do go ahead. Uh, beyond that, I'm unemployed. Uh, well, I'll just put you down as a poet then. Uh, what would you say your yearly salary from being a poet is? Gods. Um... Uh, I don't think I can put God in this section. It has to be a number, sir. I'm honestly not sure. I don't keep track and it's probably woefully inconsistent. If you could, you know, just give me a, a rough number, you know, uh, from year to year, what you would expect to maybe earn as a poet. I'll say if I'm lucky in the range of maybe $1,500. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Um, And your telegram, sir? Uh, my telegram is why you, like you're useless, don't take that personally, I say the same to all, Zero uh, yes. seven five. Wonderful, wonderful. And your citizenship? I am uh, American, for better or worse. Uh, wonderful. That's all the questions. Uh, if you need to take uh, my uh, my uh, my telegram down, I'm, uh, it's a uh, census bloke one three zero. Just in case you know you need to get in contact to change anything. You know, perhaps you're suddenly not homeless, or you know you found a spouse to marry. All of that. If I can try to recall when exactly I was born, as far as the year is concerned. Yes, that okay, that uh, would be yes. wonderful if you if you could uh, give me a you know a, a specific on that. Yes, that that would probably be a good thing to remember. Anyway, yes. Um, well, I appreciate it, Rupert. What was your last name again? Uh, Rupert Romano. Apologies, Romano. it's it's Italian, but you know uh, I wasn't brought up Italian. I can assure you that. Well, I wouldn't hold it against you, uh, Rupert, but... Um... Well, you would be surprised. You know, there's, there's some people out there that say that ginger Italians can't exist. Oh. Yes. Well, I don't know. I, I, it, if you say you're Italian, they appear to exist. But I suppose uh, well, I'm not an expert in such things. So. Uh, uh, well, no, you're a poet, sir. I, I've written it down. <laughs> True enough. Anyhow, True I'll, enough. Uh, I'll leave you to it. I have a telegram to send to uh, somebody who just ran off without talking to me. All right, best of luck. So, let's see. We'll say he's 35. 
So he was born, we'll say, February 2nd, 1964. Now we've officially told the consensus person we were born on February 2nd. Hopefully I didn't contradict that information. That is something I... I think that they... I can't remember if if it's in this server or the PRC server that uh, they actually have you put in a birth date. Um, but I can't remember what mine is for the life of me, so... Or, or what, uh, what uh, Elias is. Anyway... Eighteen sixty four. Okay. Oh, good day again. Yes, hello. <clears throat> well, uh, be safe out there, Rupert. Oh, you too, sir. So, we need to put ads up again. I worked on a couple last night, but I need to refine them. What am I looking at? What the hell? Well, that's fucking terrifying. Sometimes this thing is weird with screenshots. Normal looking individual. We'll head back to the Pearl. We ran into Sophia there earlier today. She informed us that the gangs in town have been uh, a bit more rowdy. They've been in, in times past.
Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Is it overflowing with mail? Uh, hardly so, I'm afraid. Uh oh. Uh, Zico Beto. But, um, you know, I, I haven't even put adverts out in months. Uh, so I don't know. I, I need to try to uh, formulate some new adverts, something clever, something better than I'll write a poet for your fucking horse or whatever I used to put out there. <laughs> uh, people do love that, though. It's easy money. Like, uh, like the time you wrote about Norman's shirt over here, the blue shirt. Oh, is that you? Yeah, it was, yeah. That was honestly uh, some of my better work, probably, that blue shirt poem, if I'm being honest. It's quite something. Oh, I may be, yep, goodbye. <laughs> and we crashed. Uh, well. <laughs> uh, good start. Hello, I'm Zico Beto. Um, thank you for the, uh, for the follow. Um, okay, so we'll get that back up and running. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to go pee. Uh, so sorry, that's a <laughs> not a strong start, uh, uh, Zico Beta, but thank you for the follow. We'll get the game back up and running here in just a minute, and there will be more uh, RP. So stand by, and I'll be right back.
All right, let's try that again, shall we? He was swept away, but he got swept <laughs> on back. Uh, hello. <laughs> Terribly sorry about that. <laughs> I was wondering <laughs> if Shakespeare had taken you, take us, you home. I think like many, Shakespeare may have put me to sleep and I had a hard time getting back up, but here we <sighs> are. <laughs> I was going to make a horrible joke and say just like your audience, but I don't want to get killed. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well... Uh, Tough crowd. If anybody's going to kill you, it won't be me. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. Just uh, you, you mentioned that Shakespeare wasn't for everybody, so. No, it's, you know, sort of uh, verbose and inane, most of it, but I don't know. I have an appreciation for it. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't know the story of Romeo and Juliet? And everybody loves that one. Oh, yes, the tragic romance. Yeah. Probably gave birth to a lot more sins that story probably so yes i've always been partial to the comedies myself but oh yes i'm a crass and base human being so i do love me a good comedy i always say that why why is there not more comedians around here that would be so great well, i think a comedian could do quite well in the crossing yes i do too i really do Well, should I ever encounter any, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to sort of push them up on stage somewhere. Oh, yeah. You yeah. should start, like, a, a recruitment for, like, theatre. Well, there's the Artist Guild, or there was. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, they're not doing they're... jack shit anymore. Are they not? That is a terrible shame. Yeah, I mean, I know it's around, but I don't ever hear anything happening with it. It's kind of a standstill, I think. Yeah, the majority of the messages in my telegram box were from uh, Cora uh, mm. and just saying, we're having a meeting on this day and this day and this day. But the last one I saw was, uh, I think, sometime in mid-August. So, yes. It's been, yeah. It's been a bit, it sounds like. Well, sounds about right. Well, you don't need to be on the artist guild. Start up something on your own. Yeah, mm. do the theater. True, yes. well, I was I was trying for a very long time to figure out who was uh, in charge of the theater here in town, um, and I'd heard several names, and uh, one I never m actually came across, and their name now is escaping me. And then there was um, that uh, Corleone fellow who I had a couple of uh, encounters with, but he never gave me the time of day. Oh, so. he ain't around. Um, so I don't think you should. And honestly, don't even worry about that because everything is state owned. If you want to make something happen at the theater, who's going to stop you? That is a fair point. That could be interesting. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I enjoy the theater and I've worked with several theaters. Um, I've never tried putting on a show all by myself before, though. I mean, you know, not that I'd be by myself. I'd have performers and thespians and what have you but um yeah. anyway i've never i've never instigated theater myself i suppose no i think that could be a wonderful idea the last time somebody did a, did a theater show here it was a booming success do you happen to recall what they put on or was it an original piece it was an original piece i was in it uh too as a the the, the singer at the end uh but it was mr klaus not not Spangler, but the other one, the one that runs the uh, pawn shop. Dofkin, right? Dofkin, yeah, yes, yes. yes. Uh, he was responsible for it. Uh, and it, it was a play about Gavin Summers and Jack Kettleman. Like a made-up story and how everything happened in the future between the two. And it was quite something. Interesting. Oh, this is interesting. I, I, I have not tried my hand at playwriting since I was a boy, but perhaps I could come up with something or find someone who could. Oh yeah, I'm sure you could. That pff, hell, I would. If you need actors, I'm I'm up for it. That is uh, very good to know. I believe I still have your telegram number tucked away in one of my journals, so I'll Perfect. definitely keep that in mind. Yeah, because yeah, that was great fun last time. The, the challenge is always getting people together, though. So for, from experience, maybe 
don't pull too many people together the first time around. Perhaps a smaller show then. I, I would recommend it at least. Well, that's sort of the thing about theater anyway, is trying to trying to amass the schedules of several flighty artists is never an easy feat. <laughs> no. Artist's brain is uh, is something entirely different. Yes, truly. They work on their own schedules. Exactly. Yes. In fact, if I were to take on such an endeavor, I would certainly need to find someone to act as a sort of stage manager, because I'm afraid I too am cursed with the artist's brain through and through. Ah, oh, I see, I see. <clears throat> but it's not a bad idea. But I do have, uh, you know, time now that I'm back. So perhaps... Yeah. Where you been at? Well, Hmm? Oh, I've been uh, uh, traveling uh, uh, with uh, uh, some Shakespearean performers. Uh, right, Victorian right. You look terrible. On. Oh, well. Oh, my God. In fairness, did I look all that good to begin with? Oh, last time you had some very, very clean clothes, I remember. Yes, yes. Well, the thing about clothes when you're traveling is they get dirty and they get holes in them and they get ripped and torn. But uh, these used for traveling and... Um, mm -hmm. Now these themselves are filthy and torn, and as you might expect, after returning for a group of traveling mummers, I am uh, far broker even than I was when I started, so I'll right, need to be right. putting some new advertisements up around the telegraph office, and eventually when I have $20 to offer you, I'll perhaps put one in front of here as well, but... Uh, yeah, that sounds good. In the meantime, I will, um, you know, I'll try to amass clientele as best I can, uh, you know, with my charm and wit. Yeah, so you have no problem with that. Yeah, well, it's been a mixed bag uh, so far. But I managed to walk all the way here from Valentine without getting mugged, so I'm off to... Yeah, you walked all the way? Yes, I have a thing about horses. I don't know if uh, if you recall. If I don't... Uh, the equestrians and I, though, we don't, we don't quite get along, I'm afraid. Mm-hmm. Then I get that. Plus, it gets the creative juices flowing. It's a long walk, takes several days, but it's, you know, it sort of reconnects with the earth. And so far, I haven't died. I've gotten by on sheer dumb luck, so. <laughs> there you go. At least uh, the roads between here and Valentine ain't played with wolves. No, no, no. Well, none that I uh, came across. I did come across a gentleman calling himself the Red Stag, however. He was quite an interesting sort. I don't know if, uh, if you've had the Really? Pleasure. Yes. I've heard about the Red Stag. That's the name I ain't heard in a long time. Yes. Uh, he uh, said something about my fortunes or whatever. I was a bit uh, under the influence uh, at the time. But um, yes, he, he said something about uh, fortune smiling upon me and, and uh, you know, good to rely upon my luck. And um, oh, and then, uh, you know, I promised him. When I see saw him again, I'd read him a poem because all of my journals were in the bank at the time. So, ah. at one point, I should have to search for him. He was, I think, off to the west somewhere. Oh, you want to be careful with that. He's known to take people into tall trees and up in the mountains and search and torture them. Oh, well, he seemed so, like a perfectly yes, nice individual. Uh, but, oh, I reckon. But you know, I, I, I think most of the people around here are capable of great and terrible things. Um, you know, given the opportunity, so. Although in fairness, were he to try to mug or rob or kill me, all he would have gotten to show for it was a pocket full of citrus fruits, so. Ah. Oh. Make you. Yeah. What's, what's it saying again? Life gives you lemons, oranges. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that, yes. Well, I'm going to, um... I'm going to scribble away and try to come up with a new, somewhat clever advertisement. See what, uh, see what I can come up with other than the, whatever it was I did last time that I can't even really recall. So, Yeah. Right. And, and look here, when you get a uh, little $20, go ahead and um, talk to Sophia about that. All right. She'll excellent. be receiving the payment. Yeah, I'm the big boss idiot up in here now. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Uh, wonderful to hear. Yes, I'll be sure to um, to check in with you. Probably after my first uh, successful commission. Perfect. In the meantime, I'm going to sit in the corner and scribble away for a moment, but do holler at me if uh, you need me for yeah, no. a godly reason. Bye -bye. Well, likewise, if you need more to drink or eat, just let me know. I appreciate that. Thank you. Of course. Hmm. 
I'm surprised no no one else has tried to put on a theater show since since then. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Oh shit. Maybe Cora might might do something like that. But it, it's not really theater though. They they just sing and Yeah, they just sing. It's just more it's more like concerts. Yeah. I think it takes a different different kind of person to put on a, a play. Yeah. So these are the two advertisements that I've written so far, chat. Have y'all seen her around? So if you are a fine crossing dweller, in need of a wordsmith nigh stellar, you'll find few that aren't shit, fewer today, still um, with more wit than Elliot fucking Zelda's, Teller. It looked like Cora, but she was wearing a skirt, so I don't think it was. Uh, if you've got a lady or feller, you love, but you're just a shit speller, I offer my gift to poeticize your drift. Time, you know? Ask for Elliot Teller. Yeah, she used to come in here every day. That one's not great. Okay, Neither neither of them are superb, but there's very few things that rhyme with it, Teller, right. which I should have thought of when I named the well, character, but what are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. <clears throat> but I should absolutely write a short play for that. That would be fun. Maybe make it like a four-person thing. I've never actually written a play, but writing a short one for, for this, it would only need to be like Any plans for for those sounds. Only need to be like fifteen minutes or so, oh, if no. that. Staying right here because I've been neglecting the bar a little bit. Okay. But I'm gonna be up for a while because uh <laughs> like you had a long nap. Yeah. Hopefully I can catch Leo. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to be around. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, plunging my I French press. Day, yeah, I I, when I when I go by the telegraph station, I love. I, I send them a telegram. Yeah, perfect. Been a few days now. Yeah, it has. I haven't seen them since, um... God, I can't even remember what day that was. I think it was the weekend, huh? It must have been. Sunday or some shit. Oof. So yeah, there's very few words that rhyme with teller. There is speller. There is dweller. There is... So Betty uh, and Stellar. Gideon the other day. Gideon has new clothes. I didn't recognize him. It looks so... Right. actually looks... Like a normal person. He got shoes on. Yeah, he had shoes on and everything. He actually okay. looked like a well. It wasn't super well put together, but he did look like a more like a cowboy and, and less butcher creep. Right, right. And as long as he got shoes, maybe I'll do one that doesn't rhyme. Where oh, is yeah, he at staying at in Valentine now? I really don't know. Who else would have seen him twice? Uh, they might do Venice over there. Well, not not Venice, but you know, Betty always she moved around a lot. Taking the train and shit, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, she loves train. Should I make? <laughs> should I make fucking his actual middle name? I mean, no. It's just me. I feel like I'm getting thirsty so quickly these days. Is it something in the air? Is it like dry fall air coming in? I don't know. Can I get a coffee? Mm -hmm. 
Perhaps that, all that extra gun smoke in the air is making it uh, easier to get parched. There you have it. That's what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Should I, I, maybe I should message the census taker and just be like, yeah, it's actually Elliot fucking Teller, born in February 2nd, 1864. <clears throat> uh, we should put on a play. I'm, the thing is, I'm, I'm about to be working on a play in real uh, life, too, cool. at a community what, theater here What does DEG stand but... for? DEG? Um... Uh. The title says, does the D-E-G care at all? Care at all? Yeah, carrot as in the vegetable. Vegetable, yeah. Does the D-E-G care at all? Did I it wonder... Get, did it get... Uh, yeah, maybe it's... Uh, I wonder if it's deliberate or not. Because, oh, yeah, because it is about the dead end kids. Robin the Valentine Bank sons hostage. Their odd demands included 10 bandages and 30 good carrots. They also wanted Sheriff Malone to dance, but carrots se secured, deci um, decided to just run for it. Law set off in close pursuit, winding down to the river before the groups clashed with gunfire in the heartlands, fog descending over the scene. In the end, Malone rode back into town with Wallaby slung over the back of his horse. Mm. I wonder if DEG is a deliberate <laughs> to piss them off or dead end know. goons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they always soon at a law. Yeah. We keep going that way, they'll see the same same fate as Robbie Gold. Oh yeah. That, that's just it. I, I don't know. Is it is it worth it? It's, I don't yeah. know. I think the Wallaby kid he he ain't too deep. You know, what what else is it gonna do? Get a job? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, no, that. I never heard that famous whistle of his. But I guess I've been. Yeah, never heard it. No. He never tried to rob me. Mm. One of them days. Maybe. I guess you two probably are going to head out soon, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Well, you know where to find me. Um, I don't need you for anything. Yeah. You heard anything from, um, from, uh, what the fuck is his name? Elik? Alec? No, no, nothing. Okay. But I reckon it's going good because every time I um, come to the bar, you know, and some coffee's been sold and. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty good. Yeah. I was thinking maybe I should send him a telegram and urge him to, if something happens that's out, out of the ordinary, to let me know so that I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to send Leo a telegram like that. Just to inform me. Yeah, keep you in the loop. Very, very important. Yeah. Wow, you two are so daddy today. So what? You two are so god chatty today. My ears. Uh-huh. I've nothing to chat about. I've just been don't like going around the city. Well, you've been gone.
all the longest. Surely you have something to chat about. Uh, Effie's a bully. Effie is a bully. Is she? What's she done? Absolutely, she's a bully. She I just, told her about that. She <laughs> just nags at me every little thing I do. Well, I know it's mainly jokes. about it. Yeah, it's, it's mainly about Norman's hair and his facial hair. Ah. Last time I spoke to that, I said, leave Norman alone. She doesn't like my and hair because it looks messy. But, but Pearly, you, you did the same thing to him before. Okay, but it was for a good reason. <laughs> you don't think that comes it, it, from no, 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 a good because reason? No, 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 because Norman, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't being a bully. I was, I was helping him out. Yeah, uh-huh. critical feedback. Criti- yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Effie's but when about, Effie oh, says I don't like his chin. Yeah. Your chin's too exposed. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, okay. She, she went that route. Okay. Right. She, she, like, oh, she, she went personal. She was like, you've been in the crossing for a year with a beard. I'm just used to seeing a beard. Right. Just give it time, Norman. Yeah, I'm st- this is what I'm sticking with. My hair can be half, half uh, combed. Right. And soon enough, a goddamn oh, homemade man. shipment of oh, yeah. my god. I need oh, to try yeah. and start growing my hair back up. I guess uh what's that what's that pomade called that they've been trying to sell at the stores? Howdy, sir. I can't goddamn remember. How you doing, Panic? Huh? Oh how you doing? Uh, did you say something, sir? Sorry, I didn't hear that. I just said hello. Diego? Yes, I come to see the stool and the drink. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, yes. I have it ready. I'm so glad to see you. Yes, it's good to see you. I come by a couple of times. I always miss you, I think. She's yeah. lazy. She never showed for work. Sure. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, could be. Yeah, so how are things? Quiet. It's usually good, yes? Yeah, nice and somber. What do you want for a drink, Diego? Uh, rum, please. Uh, sorry guys, I got distracted. If you like a silver tongue but have something to say, perhaps... You tried Gumball before? Oh yes. Long. Yeah, you do look the part. That's entirely on me. Long. Well, thank you very much, yes. I was surprised to see you this time. This one. Yeah, um... Usually, th- these are my hours, usually. And, um... If I'm not mistaken, you usually wake up a little later, no? Eh, well, you know, eh... Days are long for me sometimes. Early, not late, it's hard to say. Ah, I see. I've been known to cover a lot of ground, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, um... Yeah, I'm usually up around now and then on weekends. It's uh, pretty much the same. Just whenever. Probably too much. Yeah, man. This is good. Ah, yeah, you know. Could be worse, could be better. Good morning, right, Mikey. Right. Hey, Mikey. Who's all these? Oh, let me, uh... You um, doing? Oh, well, you know everybody here, don't you? No, you don't. The fuck happened to you? Hey, 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 Mike. What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Go. What do you mean? Look at you. You look good, don't you? Shaved. The bottom half. What happened to the top half? Oh. I, I cut it myself. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. It keeps it out of my face. I will take your word for it. 
They might be one yeah, to catch up. You said good um, rule here. Sure, yeah. You can fill me in. What's that? Is it uh, accepted? Nah, I'm good for now. Okay. We'll be oh, back. Yes, quite acceptable. I'll be right back. That's I wouldn't good. complain anyway in this place. I'd wait till I leave, you know, complain to the wife or something. Ah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I uh, try to spice it up a little extra for you. I reckon you can handle that. Oh, yes. We always like a little spice. Say, did you ever hear from, um, Monroe? Uh, I can't say that I have. I, I have been to Rhodes a few times, but I haven't seen him. I wrote to Biggs. I don't remember if I wrote to Monroe. Uh, but I have written to one of them. But I haven't seen either of them in Rhodes. Yeah, Biggs I haven't seen for in forever. Um, I hear from Monroe every now and again, but it's... uh. Very sporadic. Well, uh, is he better you, at writing it? He's a little better at uh, writing you back. Uh, but his words are just as bad as they always were. Yes, that's more what I meant. Uh, the words put together, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he makes himself understood. I guess uh, that's all you need. Yes, it was always... Uh, just to get by with w enough words to get the point, you know? Yeah. May I say, that outfit looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, you like this vest? I do, I do, I do. I reckon you had uh, more than enough for gators to uh, get some work done. By. Hi, Butch! Hey, what's going on? Yes, well, you know how I like to do. I collect the things and have someone fashion for me. Oh, yes. That's great. What can I get what, you, Butch? Uh, just a uh, beer. Maybe some... What kind of food do you guys have today? Oh, gumbo, as always. Okay, good. Who made it? I did. Okay. Okay. I trust you. All right, yeah. One uh, gumbo, then. And yeah. Uh, beer. I've, yeah. I've, got, I've gone to the good school. The school of Pearly. Oh, good. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Is it's like, as long as you learn how to make it from somebody who knows what they're doing. I'm happy about that. Anybody are yeah. you? Yeah, I am well, and you? Doing good. Who's, um... Who's the guy with the notebook? Uh, Elliot Teller. Vagabond poet. At your service. Vagabond poet? Yes, sir. I mean, is there any yeah. other kind? Like, I've never heard of a successful one. In fairness, I've met very few poets in the crossing at all, so... It's a dollar fifty. Here you go, sugar. Christ! Thank a you. poet. Yeah, you poet. That's right, yes. A vagabond poet, which means that he doesn't make any money. What is that your is favorite true. creation, Mr. Poet? Of my own? Yes. I did a, a piece about the gambling boat a while back that I rather like. Um, a gambling boat? The, uh, the casino boat in the dock. Uh, I forget what its proper name is these days, but back, uh... The Grand Corrigan. Yes, that's the one. Yes, you have something, uh, no offense, more interesting. Uh, well, I have a poem about saint -Denis itself. It isn't bad. Yes, I'd like to hear this. You read to me. Sure, all right. Yes. Uh, let me see here. All right, it goes like this. A city lies to south and east, where factories roar out like beasts, with power lines and paved roads, and even several fine commodes. The future, you can plainly see, begins and ends in Saint-Denis. While industry and buildings high are often first to catch the eye, there's more beyond the steel and stone than you had previously known. Just step inside any saloon in this fair kingdom, and very soon, I'm more than certain you will find you've left the mundane world behind. For in spite of all the smoke and ash, here you'll find a massive cache of creativity and art. There's people here with so much heart, you hear the beating all around. It makes the most triumphant sound, like galloping of mighty steeds with riders set to noble deeds. 
And like heroes and legends told, these artists are the brave and bold. For more than slaying dragons fierce, their works are set the soul to pierce. And that is why, since landing here, to search the wild crossing deer, I've hardly left this fucking town, because good people here abound. I thank you for your time to tell why Sandini is dope as hell. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's pretty good. It's a long poem, but I enjoy it. Yes, most much. of my poems are a little long-winded, if I'm being honest, but... Well, I've never told a short story myself, mister, so I understand. That is, uh, I like that. That is fair. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta be honest. I was kind of expecting it to be much worse than it was. Most people do. Well, that's, that's why, why I've found as much success it, as I have. Yes, exactly. I'm never I'm shy like about you, reading my poetry. I like how you snuck the word fuck in at the end. That was real nice. Oh, I tried to sneak at least a couple of curse words into everything I write if I can. That's good. That's just common sense. It's marketing. Right yes, there. exactly right. Yes, people people like crass language, and I am no exception. Yes, I love the crass. Yeah, it the is crass. the way of the Baron to be crass. In most of my advertisements, I refer to myself as Elliot fucking Teller. Hey, wow. That's good. I... I'm awfully, uh, awfully tempted to just sort of solidify that as my middle name, if I'm being honest, but... Yes, just don't hire an assistant named Teller, and you'll be okay. Well, and you'd yes. be Teller and Teller. Teller and Teller. And you'd be fucking Teller. Yes. Well, that's the yeah, what I... I was talking about, mm -hmm. yes. Uh -huh. Unless Teller is attractive and you like Teller. Yeah. You can have your way with Teller as well. well. I mean, I think that it might end up being a bit incestuous, no? I don't know, maybe. Uh, it could be. There's probably uh, many <laughs> Tellers around, you know? That is fair. Well, that part of that, um, yes, you need to put it in the paper, but write shorter for paper. You um, oh, the, the newspaper, you mean? Yeah, yeah. You part of the what you call the artist artist party thing? The artist guild. Um, I not not as actively as I'd like to be. I'm, I've been out of town for the last few months, actually, traveling with a, a group of entertainers putting on Shakespeare. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you doing? But now that I'm back, I, I do hope to yeah, uh, get involved with the Artist Guild, yes. Hello there, sweet hair. Oh. So you are uh, are you often I'm in this place stuff. then? Yeah, I'm doing good. As the poem uh, says, you prefer this place? Yeah, so you can usually find me in Sandini, yes. I, I do occasionally go to Valentine, but I don't like horses, so that? I don't travel much. Not too bad. Understood. Oh. Hello, hello. Maybe I will hire hello. you sometime, man. Oh, eh? oh, oh, party in here, obviously. More than welcome to. I can give you my telegram hey, number if you'd like. I have a twin. I have a twin. Sophia, can I have a, you have a stew twin. and a whiskey? Who? Who? Okay. There's a guy who's down on the telegram I've never seen him before. He looks the fucking spin image of you. Give to me. Bullshit. Bob. It's Bob. Oh. Telegrams real quick. I'm going to get close to you oh. and say it quietly. All right, so it's why I knew you, you know like you're people. useless. And don't take that personally. I say the same to all. Zero seven five. Hello. Look at you with a suit and tie on. That's that's sharp. I like that. You say you're I'm, useless. You've shaved the chops off. I've shaved the chops, you bully. That's right. Yes. Zero seven five. <laughs> Your fault. I never said I never said shave them off. Okay. I just... Your name is Elliot fucking Taylor. Yeah. That, that is correct. You should have spelled those okay. sounds for the most part. <laughs> is that yes, Norman? No From problem. what I hear, you hinted is, uh, strongly. Okay. What was your name? Hi, uh, my name is Diego. I'm not going to lie. Diego, a pleasure to meet you. Yes, perhaps I will have to Oh shit, I think I remember you too. Something. I will come up with something. It's like you hadn't started shaving. I come fairly cheap. Did you bully Norman into shaving? We'll no, find some work for you. I just Maybe hinted that next that he looks better with a Excellent. beard yes, or well, I'll, I'll, uh, keep an eye on my telegrams. All day. I oh, see. I, nice. I, I, I read it. Nice. I'm going to get back to my scribblings for the moment. I'm the first but, person uh, to yes, compliment course, somebody that's speaking again soon. Maybe inspiration has come to you. Eh? Sure. Oh, yes, well, I, I like the sound of several voices in the background. Unless it's not his beard, in which case you keeps me shaving it, right? Keeps me stimulated, I suppose. You could have protected me from a bully. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to protect you. I think... That he looked beautiful with his beard. It was luscious and smooth, you know. Yeah. It smelled like strawberries. Gonna... Winchester, you didn't see him with chops, though, did you? Oh, no, let's I see. Didn't. I, didn't. I, didn't. I got some. I got some.
Oh, perfect. Yeah. I What's only your have name, cigars. Buddy? Uh, Butch Nickel. I've got um, tobacco. Um, this is a special kind of tobacco. It's mixed with opium. I get into opium. Sophia, can I get Okay, a okay. Yeah. Yeah, pre roll. Uh, I usually sell them for two bucks. Yeah, I'll give them to you for one a pop. Two, okay, here you go. I sent you a telegram, by the way, Norman. Oh, yeah, I need to go and check. Hey, Norman. Oh, yeah, I've been out of town, so I apologize for not responding. Hey, I just enjoy. See what you think. Now. No, that's all right. I just try to keep you informed. Yeah, I appreciate it. There we go. Oh, thank you. Not seen you around for a while, Butch. What have you been up to? Ignoring me, I guess. No, I'm talking. Do you can you hear me? <laughs> no, no, I couldn't. I can't now. Though. Oh it, no, it definitely went really quiet for a second there. <laughs> My apologies. No, I was saying um, been pretty quiet. Just been like uh, sitting around the house with the girls and kind of uh, making a homestead, I guess. You know, we got a little house and I'm not really running any stores anymore, so it's it's all pretty pretty low key these days. Where are you making house now? Uh, me and the girls live uh, in a little, little, oh my god, in that uh, little uh, long, you know. farmhouse that's like just west of the Camassa, but uh, south of Van Horn. It's like you cross the little bridge, and then what? there's these little pens, and there's a little windmill, and oh, by yeah. the river. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, we usually stay there. Ah, oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, we've been sitting around the house mostly. So, Okay. Well, I haven't seen him yet. Keeping, so. keeping quiet, guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, just try to stay out of trouble. You know, get out of people's way. Yeah, yeah. That's the best way to be. Diego, did you used to come down here when uh, Klaus had the place? Hey, not really. Uh, I do know the man, but. Uh... Uh, well, it's a long story. I did come to have a drink once, uh, and they ran to get rum, and I was impatient, and I left. I can only wait so long for rum, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, effort. We have recently uh, become acquainted again. Uh, I was to do something for him, and now he is to do something for me. I see. I haven't seen Klaus in a long time. Yes, last I see him was a few weeks ago. Uh, I give him a, a gun of mine to work on. Ah. Uh, he has very good taste. That gun's going to end up looking beautiful. Yes, I hope so. I am sure it will be uh, more than sufficient in beauty oh. and uh, use, oh. you know. Is it a gift for Bill? Uh, no, I have already done this. I give her a gift. Uh, it was a varmint rifle. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, it's quite nice, yes. Uh, it's like I call the sky painter. I want her to paint the sky with the blood of the ducks like she paints the canvas. <laughs> oh, that is poetic. Yeah, duck blood. Yes, yes, it is... Uh, one of many ways I win into a heart, you know? Teach her to hunt ducks. Who's oh. this? Who's your special lady? Yes, my wife, Belle. Belle. Like Ding Dong? Yes, but with an extra E at the end. Oh, like, like beautiful. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, she is beautiful. She has a voice that just... is like silk in your ear. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Silk is feeling good, yes. I guess. I mean, anything, if you put too much of it into your ear, won't feel very good. Well, not into your ear, but maybe like, you know, just to graze it across yeah. your body a bit, you know. Yeah, your nipples, yeah. Well. What? Too like, sensitive. I, I tuned in at the wrong time. Hmm. <laughs> oh, just talking about how good silk feels against Yes, the yeah. finer silks in life, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes a man is lucky and he finds the finest silk, he never has to look again, you know? Yeah. Sleep comfortable forever. 
One time I stayed in a hotel that had silk sheets. I kept on sliding all over the place. That doesn't sound comfortable. It was all right. It's always it's hard to get, an adventure. It's hard to get traction, though. You know? mm. like especially when you like got multiple partners with you. You don't want to say you, you grabbed all the silk, didn't you? Yeah. Sounds like quite the place. It's all right. Really, I think they put most of their money into the silk. It is expensive. Yeah. All right, I gotta go stop by the gun store and get some ammo. Uh, thank you for the hospitality. Um, anytime, but uh, thank yes, anytime. thanks for. Oh, yeah, you're back. welcome. You're welcome. Thanks, uh, Boa guy. Uh, have a good day, Elliot fucking Taylor. Elliot fucking Taylor. Oh, that's how we're gonna Very start saying it now. Yes. Well, that's the man's nice name, yes. It is easier to remember when you say Elliot fucking Taylor. Yes, yeah, it's a moniker I certainly don't mind at all. Well, I will uh, continue to shout your name to people who forget on their way out. Wonderful. At this rate, I hardly need to come up with advertisements at all. Yes, you just need a, a crier on the street. I'm not for hire for this. I've well, done I'm sure that I once can make some wife already. I absolutely have to. Oh. I used to stand in front of a uh, Bell's view and profess, have your photograph taken, have a painting. That was quite a time. So it sounds an interesting uh, job, at least, sort of. Well, I was just helping my wife with her passion. I shave my face, horrible. put on the fancy clothes, say bonjour to everyone. Come get a fucking photo. Wandering skies for you. Thank you for following. You'd be surprised. I believe it. You you do have a, a sort of alluring accent, so it's. Uh, I imagine it worked quite often. Well, it worked enough. I convinced people. It's quite surprising if you just say bonjour instead of hola. They think you're another person. Yes, I'm afraid Americans don't have much of an ear for accents. So I, I became I the Duke of Esmeralda. And that what is my title when I do this work. The Duke. <laughs> Little joke. Little well, joke. If you'll excuse me uh, for just a few moments, I need to go and refill my water uh, canteen. Oh yes, don't want a thirsty poet. No, no, <laughs> yes. Although sometimes Actually, I write my best work when it. I'm dearly dehydrated and very drunk. But for the moment, I should uh, like to keep myself upright. So long for now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Adios. For now. I hate the walk when you're dehydrated. It looks so dumb. Thank you again, Wandering Skies, for the follow. Does it look better if I like change the walking speed? Remember where I know there's water in here somewhere. It looks a little bit better if I quote unquote run while I'm doing it. I know there's water around here somewhere. There it is.
I do. You'll find him one day. If something tells me it, uh, you don't just stumble across people uh, around that place, you know, and take them there. No one goes there without a purpose. That is true. Take a piss. Not in the water trough, please. What you say in the water trough? All right. I will strangle you. Elliot fucking Taylor has returned. Indeed, so slightly more hydrated than I was when I left. Speaking of, can I get you anything, Mikey? No, I'm I'm good, thank you. Norman looks like he wants a beer. Please. Bingo. I have a strange question for the lot of you. Go ahead. Have any of you had to bury someone in the St. Denis Cemetery recently? Can't say that I have. No. No. Okay. Why have you? Yeah, I can say no, not recently. I've just been finding uh, more and more people in this place as of late, and I uh, I'm in this place a lot to caretake for it sometime. So I am just curious. Uh, it's quite a, a haunting looking place at night. Yeah, you say haunting? Yeah, it looks, you know, like it's haunted. I wouldn't like to go there on my own in the evening anyway. Yeah, you'd be surprised some of the things I see. Well, maybe it'd not surprise you. Not too long ago, uh, I ran into uh, two men. A uh, very... And a dollar type. Uh, I was making my rounds, walking around the place. I take a stop and I hear something, a scurry of the feet. The next thing you know, there is another man cutting another man with a blade and they're giggling like they are drunk or something. And then suddenly they notice me just standing there looking at them. We have a little conversation. It was clear to me they were grave robbers, as well as dullards who were uh, having a bit of horseplay. One of them said he could catch an arrow with his hand, you know? So his friend began to shoot an arrow, and he tried to catch for me. Meanwhile, I am entertaining them because I am hoping he just kills this man. There would be one less problem in the cemetery. Hey. Uh, they may never catch the arrow, so I say, I can shoot a ball, let me shoot. So he gives me the ball, the man sticks his arm out, and I draw the ball slowly, and instead of hitting him in the hand where he's supposed to catch, I just shoot him right in the forearm. He lose blood, he see the blood, he fall out on his ass, and... Hey, uh, His okay, friend, run away. We're, we're heading out. I'll uh, we'll send telegrams if uh, anything. All right. All right. Be safe. You too. All kind of strange things in the cemetery. Horseplay, thieves, killers. Yeah. 
failed men of the circus who can't catch arrows. <laughs> Does give me an interesting idea, though. When I was traveling with the Shakespeare troupe, one thing that we often did was Shakespeare in the park. Perhaps some sort of theater in the cemetery could be interesting. Yes, well, it is a perfect place for the macabre, you know. Indeed so. And uh, the spirits and uh, the theater uh, often go hand in hand in at least American folklore. Well, I say as long as this play is not the uh, one that is always jovial, it w would suffice perhaps. No, no, it, I think a cemetery would be more a place for a tragedy or a drama of some sort, yes. Yes, you have to be very careful with the mind of the audience in this place, you know? Certainly so. But, I get ahead of myself. As I said, I've not even written a proper play before, so... No use thinking about where to put it. <coughs> yes, I well... The, uh, the ghost tours in Edinburgh. That sounds interesting, honestly. Yeah, they just take you around the cemeteries and tell you stories. Ghost stories. And people get paid to do that? I do this yeah, in my it's free time. It's like a... Someone that's very good at telling stories will just take them oh, as a... That might not be me. Tour guide. <laughs> I've been uh, first aid many times for telling stories. Oh, you tell too many unimportant parts of the story. Yes, yeah, so I've told a few stories in the cemetery, but you know, like I say, never to get the payment. Always, usually, to tell someone to fuck off in another kind of way. A lot of people I run into are there for the wrong reason, you know? It's like a place to hide, a refuge or something. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you hide too long in this place, it just might take it with you. <clears throat> Alright, I've got a few passable advertisements, so I'm going to go slap them around town. I'll be back in a few minutes. Yes, of course. I might yeah. not see you again, so... Oh, I'm sure our paths will cross again at some point. Yes, I will write <laughs> to you. Maybe you can write something for my wife, or something for the cemetery, something like this. Eh? Happily so, yes. Do keep me in mind. Yes, of course. Well, until then. Elliot fucking Taylor has left. I do. I really do need you in every room I enter and exit from now on. Uh, yes. Well, I, you get far I'm too much joy out of this. You, I'm afraid. So. Uh, that is certainly true and not difficult to manage. <clears throat> Oh, oh! Forgot, I forgot my coat. Elliot Teller has forgot his coat. <laughs> All right, this time for real. Um, be careful out there. Thank you. We have a couple advertisements. None of them are, like, super great. One of them isn't even a poem. But, I mean, like, originally, like, one of my first advertisements was uh, for $20 I'll write a limerick about you or your lover or your fucking horse. Um, and I did like that. And I may put that back up. But for now, I've got a couple loose limericks, I think. I think they, they, they'd barely qualify as limericks. I think the line structure is maybe right for a limerick. I think it is. I believe a limerick is five lines rhyming A-A-B-B-A, -B -B -A, I think. I'm not a formally educated poet as a rule. I don't ever care to take a poetry class. 
but I did look up the structure of a proper limerick once just because I wanted to make sure that when I say I will write you a limerick that I'm actually writing you a limerick. <coughs> you guys let me know if there's any audio issues, if my voice is too loud, or if everyone else is too quiet, or if the music is too loud or too quiet, any of that shit. Feel free to let me know. Good morning. cool. I don't think that used to be a thing. Maybe it did, I don't know. Huh, it got rid of the spacing. That's okay though. movie theater. I need to pop into the actual theater and just look around it. For those of you only just tuning in, at the encouragement of uh, some of those that over at the Blue Pearl Saloon, um, <coughs> Elliot slash me, I think we're going to try our hand at writing a short play um, with only a few actors, maybe three or four. Um, and try putting it on for shits and giggles. I am a theater professional in real life, uh, so I know what it takes to put on a show. I've never done it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've, I've participated in it, obviously, but I've never, like, produced a play, let alone written one, let alone produced one. Uh... I'm gonna say a Aki, a a a keep us, uh, uh, 
<laughs> if you would like to phonetically uh, spell your name, uh, let me know. But whoever, or however you say it, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciated. Uh, why did I come to the bank? I'm meant to put an advertisement on the outside, but it's good to remind myself what I have in here. Another notebook, which will definitely come in handy because I am coming up on the end of the one I have. A guitar that Elliot has no business having. Acupus, yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Thank you again. Theater getting more love would be great. Yeah, I, I know there have been like little things here and there, but they were saying that uh, a proper play has not been put on in like months, so I would love to do that. But it would have to be short. <clears throat> Hello? And goodbye. Look forward to seeing it. Yeah, I don't want to like you know commit commit to it, but I will. I'll try. Like I'll I'll scribble. What I'll probably do is maybe on stream, maybe off. Sit in the theater as Elliot. Bring a fresh notebook and just uh, scribble away and see what comes up. I I there's a reason that I mostly write poetry, and it's because it is short, <laughs> and I can always finish a poem. Um, I've tried writing like novels and never have gotten more than maybe 50 or 60 pages in before uh, just losing steam entirely. Um, but a short play I might be able to pull off. Now I've completely lost track of where I am relative to anything else. I'll look at the map, even though I don't normally like to do that if I don't have it in my inventory. Okay, I want to Let's go around this way. Put an advertisement outside the Bastille. Call that good enough for now. Buongiorno. <laughs> Run into that NPC in particular so many times. That one seems to pop up a lot. Oh, this is the, the mark. Is this where the Garden of Eden thing happens? It doesn't open, but maybe behind? Yeah, this is probably it. This is looks like a place you could do a restaurant, some restaurant RP. Need to try to actually, I want to try to like at least log in every day. I probably won't stream every day, but I want to at least like log in and just kind of like check in every, every day if I can. At the moment I'm between gigs, but I do have some on the horizon that might end up taking my time, but I'm going to try not to disappear for months at a time like I did last time. Until at least until next summer. Uh, okay, I lost track of what I was doing and where I was going. And where I am. Okay, there we go. I went in like a full circle. Head to the Bastille, put the <laughs> only non rhyming advertisement out. Um, and then head back to the Pearl.
I'm gonna put it <laughs> on the trash can. It's my favorite place to put an advertisement outside the best too. very plain. This one look a little fucked up. Not the bloody one, at least, but... It's a little bit dirtier than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. I like that it's outside of a trash can. Or, you know, it's like sitting on the lip of a trash can, kind of. I wanted it to look like it was something that was thrown away. Okay, back to the pearl. Try to get there without using the map. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stream today. It won't be terribly long. I have plans in about two hours. I don't know if I'll stream for the next two hours or not. Uh, it'll depend on how the RP is. It's always a little quiet in these morning times. And then as always, my stream schedule will be all over the fucking place. I, I kind of just stream when I have the energy to do it. Um, and I've been away for a few months, uh, or a couple at least, um, because I've been doing theater stuff and it's been taking up all my time, including a little bit of work uh, away from my home, which made it very hard to stream. So, um, But I really, really want to get into it. I mean, being in the Wild RP server is such a fucking privilege, and I do not want to squander it. I've been enjoying it so much. Every time I do it, I just... I don't know, I just love it. I want to play around with some other characters, too. Um, so, yeah, I'll be... I don't want to, like, get too crazy, because I'm definitely someone that has, like, alt syndrome. Like, uh, back in my World of Warcraft days, I had, like, four or five different characters I would jump around between. Um, I don't want to do that here, because I think that it's more rewarding to commit to one or two strong characters. I mean, not to, like discount people that bounce around between a bunch of characters i can definitely appreciate that but as far as like long form narrative goes um i think committing to a character is helpful so i'll do it'll be elliot for sure and then if any of you watched me before my hiatus you may have seen um him not a smed uh the blacksmith uh, and i might get back into him as well and then i have a couple other characters I've definitely made more than five characters already. There's more than five characters in my little sheet, but I don't know how many of them like I'll play or how often. The spirit that they have summoned would behave. If it is the Mbala, the Serpent God, you will behave like Snake. But uh, if he is to mount you, you uh, most of these people I see, they are clear in the mind afterward. Better? I don't know if they fix. They better. Can I ask you, uh, what is your heritage? That's a long answer. Okay, what, what do you affiliate most with? Is that well, also a long answer? I don't even know that I... I've put much thought into that, to be fair. Okay, well, 
I, I suppose the the gods you speak of. To, yes, to... the gods I speak of. These all come from Africa, from oh, uh, these islands. Uh, people have come here from these places and brought it to this place. Okay. okay. I learned it here. Oh, you learned it here. Interesting. I'm all about learning things. I learned it here maybe 15 years ago. 12 years. Could be. Before this, I was just, uh, mm, I was a uh, Catholic, uh, I suppose, but uh, it was a mild case. Mild case of Catholicism. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> it's hard to explain. Uh, no, I get it. I mean, I grew up going to church every Sunday and every Wednesday, so, you know, I, I get it in my background, but I'm not actively uh, you know participating as i was back then well sometimes you see things that change your outlook you know you start to believe in something else yes it'll be sometimes yeah but yes the complication is hard to um identify because uh, my family disowned me. They don't want to recognize I am who I am. My family lives in California. They were from Mexico. Before this, Spain. Well, it's but, quite the uh, heritage. Most of the people uh, from my family were part of the military or they were padres. Mm -hmm. family I have met, they own a large uh, ranch in California. Mr. Man, could I trouble you for a gumbo? Oh, absolutely. No trouble at all. Oh, and an Irish whiskey as well. Elliot mm -hmm. Teller is hungry. <laughs> Elliot fucking Teller is hungry. Yes. Even the greatest poets must succumb to hunger from time to time. <laughs> I thought we wanted you to keep you thirsty and hungry. Well, I... You know, I have sort of a voracious appetite. I'm never fully satiated. This will just, uh, like I said, keep me upright. I see. So, yes, Elizabeth, full of complication to tell. Well, that's life. Just a tangled web of... Two dollars. Well, thanks. Oh, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Yes, anyone else? I have a, a life before the crossing and a life ever since, you know. Well, are you settling down here on the crossing? Is that, you know, the warnings y'all gave me about how violent it's going to be? <laughs> or are you you're thinking about your future outside of the crossing? Uh, well, that's hard to say. I've been married for uh, a couple of years now. If I am lucky, I can... Uh, well, convince her to stay with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no. Uh, our passion is one that burns uh, hotter than any fire. Uh, hmm. She will never run from me, and I will never run from her. This okay. is no. This is not issue. The issue is, you know, this not good place to maybe raise family if we are lucky to have. Oh, I see what if you're it saying. was up to me, uh, yes, I would probably leave this God for second place. As it is, we are here. Right. Yes, well, unfortunately for us, you know, we both uh, apparently uh, have family who uh, have plenty of uh, place to live. And things to eat, you know, but uh, neither want to have us. Mm. No, I get that. I disowned my own family. I guess in preparation of them disowning me, so it was like disown them before they disown me. So, yes, my wife, uh, she was still have this problem. Mm. My case was different. It was no one wants to believe I was still alive, so they don't want to believe the. Uh, Evidence that I would have to prove who I am is true. So it is easier to keep me away and to say you cannot inherit this. It is not yours. My yeah. wife, uh, her 
family come from the train business much uh, well they own quite a lot but they don't want her to wed someone like me Ah, oh, people are so judgmental yes well we don't really need either of them would be nice to have that ranch in california though yeah well you can make your own way start your own family make it into what you want it to be Spell tragedy. Yes, okay. <laughs> I think it is. Well, I very much enjoyed my time here. I think I will visit again, but I'm going to take a stroll around this here city, see what it has to offer. I haven't uh, really stretched my legs. Yeah, that's a good idea. If you, uh, however, if you see, uh, see a big group of people, yeah. you know, uh, riding around together, I, I would maybe just gently slip into a back alley or something. Why yeah. is that? That sounds mighty suspicious of me. Do I have something to be scared of? Yeah. All right. What? What? What kind of people? You feel like getting eaten today? Me? Eat? No. No. I. I. I mean, I have some beans, but I don't want to be eaten. Yeah. That, well, then that's why. Just, Are you trying just... to tell me that there's cannibals around here? Yeah. yeah. You just missed the conversation before you For entered. For fuck's sake. This so, uh, shipment, right, you said? Right, yeah. He said he just saw them near the bank. That was before you came in here. Oh, cannibals use the bank? They're civilized cannibals then. Yes, yeah, that's these what are it appears. very frightening in that regard. I was just at the bank myself. I didn't see anybody that looked like a cannibal, but I'm not sure I'd be able to spot them if I had, so... Well, the, their leader carries a big bear pelt on his shoulders. Long black hair, kind of a flat round hat. Well, it's kind of him to stick out so much, at least, you know, to avoid him when you see him. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Who was it they killed again? How was he? Uh, Cass. Hey. How many people have they killed? I know of a man they attacked, but he is not, uh, he is not dead yet. It was some time ago. What do you mean yet? Well, I just mean he's not dead. He's still He'll die eventually. <laughs> exactly. The poet knows. <laughs> we all do, but... Alright, well, thanks for the tip. I'll be sure to uh, try and prevent my inanimate demise by avoiding the sorts of uh, folk. Yeah, please do. I would love to see you back here in, in one piece. <laughs> Yeah, if you never see me again, you know I got eaten. So, oh, prize. <laughs> you, you would have made a great doctor, if so. I believe this. <laughs> yeah. You know, to be honest, I probably make a good stew. So, I mean. Well, I choose not to bonder on this one. <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah, no. I just uh, kill him with kindness and naivety and just walk away. Sometimes they work, so. You do whatever your gut is telling you. Sounds all right. Well, nice meeting you folk, and I'll uh, be sure to stop in another time. Do that, yeah. Likewise. All right. Have a good day. Adios. So long. Take care. <clears throat> yeah, there was one time I walked in here late at night just to check on things and, and grab something from my lockbox. And over there in the room next to us here, they were all lined up. All six, the full group of, of freed cannibals, pointing guns at me. I don't know to this day how I got out of that alive. I just wasn't the one they were looking for at the time. Well, yes, that is lucky. Yeah. Yes, I have been uh, known for my luck as well in life. <laughs> yeah, you've been pretty uh, unscathed, uh, at least for as long as I've known you. Oh, yes. I don't want to... Um... To begin to brag about this, it is bad. It is bad. Bad <laughs> luck as well. Yes, don't jinx it. Yes. Yeah, sometimes I meet people, I am certain they want to rob me the moment I meet them. And I just talk and talk and suddenly they just wander away. You do have a gift there. You really it's do. Like I like, it's like I wave my hand in front of them and I say, please, leave me be. I think you have some powers, Diego, that is inexplainable. Yes, I don't know how I have uh, 
Wet battle, that is a power in itself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, will I see Bella around at all, or is she kind of keeping to herself? Well, she's just become busy, and, uh, you know, uh, like I said, the days can be long for me. I have uh, much time to ride, and, well, we just live a, live a different life, you know, during the day, so. Yeah. I find myself, I can be, um, you know, around the, well, I can be around St. Denis this time of day, and then, you know, the next thing you know, in the evening, I am to the west, you know, and my life is, in some ways, very similar to it was before I married her, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sounds nice to have that sort of freedom. Going to go find a pot to piss in, I'll be back. Alright, quick bathroom break. I will be right back.
Yeah. <clears throat> Ah, there he is. <laughs> Hello. Speak of the piss pot and you shall appear. Yes, well, sure enough. I may have yes. shit in the pot as well, if I'm being honest. But... Yes, well, we were <laughs> beginning to worry. I like this man. He's not afraid to speak. I take oh, no, shit, I, I piss, I do this. Yes, yes. I have been speaking I would never shut myself. up unless, uh, you know... If if people wanted to hear me talk, I would literally never stop talking. But I'm wiser than that. Hey, if only I was. Excuse you, sir. Yes, it might be time for me to take my leave, anyways. Ride somewhere. Yeah, the crossing's calling, is it? Yes, you know I can only stand still for so long. Yeah. It's a problem oh. of mine. No, I wouldn't call it a problem. It's good to get around. I wish I could do the same sometimes. But uh, it was really good to see you, Diego. And anytime I'm around, just come on by. It's always going to be warm gumbo. Yes, I will look for you again in this place. Uh, yeah. This time, perhaps, maybe sooner. Yeah. And I will, uh, I will bring money to pay next time, not on the, not your treat, huh? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'll try to get a hold of uh, Monroe in the meantime. Yes, and uh, Mr. Taylor, hmm, I'm already thinking that I want a, a poem for the Saint Denis Cemetery. That certainly uh, sounds like an interesting premise. I'd be more than happy to uh, take a crack at it. Yes, yes. Uh, I will think of maybe a few things. Um, maybe we'll have to have another conversation so you have um, a bit more um, vocabulary. <laughs> well, sure. At the very least, some context. Yes, yes, all of all of these things we will give to you, and you can write and create, and we will put it there for all to read yes. as a warning. Oh, interesting! I've never, I don't think I've ever written a poem as a warning before. I like that concept quite a bit. Yes, well, it can be a, a bit obscure and vague and subtle if you like. That is the way I prefer to make thread as well. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Well, sometimes, you know, it calls for directness, but that's not what we want to do in the cemetery, to scare everyone. We want them to read, and to heed the word, and to not steal, and to fuck around and horseplay in this place. But we will put it together in the words of Elliot fucking Taylor, okay? Absolutely. You uh, okay. name the time and place, so, I'll, you know, telegram me and we will make it happen. Yes, I will write to you. You're useless. Zero seven something. I have it written. Precisely so. Okay. You should, you should, you should come up with something better than that. You're useless. Oh, I, I like it. it. Tends to be something of a conversation starter. Well, I remember it, but uh, it's not exactly flattering, you know. No, perhaps not. But then again, in spite of my poetic nature, I'm not in the uh, business of flattery. Yes, well, that I can admire. The rest of you, take care. We'll see you again soon, Sophia. Yes, yeah, see you again, Diego. Adios. Rest well, Diego. I need a water refill myself. A man can tell stories. Say that again. 
That man can tell stories for days. Oh, yes. No, it, absolutely so. It was honestly fascinating listening to him talk. I admire his uh, gift of gab. <laughs> Aye. I was just standing there listening the whole time. Like, it was nice. It was almost <laughs> drifting off. Yes, <laughs> indeed so. My social anxiety absolutely extends to the crossing. Fortunately, Elliot can always just dig his nose in a book. Elevator bay? Sure. Appears to be a string cover of a uh, Backstreet Boys song. <laughs> Sorry, I, d I didn't think I heard anyone there. <clears throat> no, no. Uh, well, the, just the, a bit quiet, perhaps. Uh, the, the bar lady's just gone over a walk. I thought so. Uh, all right, all right, no worries. Just saw this little establishment here. Uh, I thought I'd just take a look. Ah, oh, you're <clears throat> welcome. This is the uh, the Blue Pearl, in my opinion, the finest establishment in Saint Denis. All right, all right. What, what makes it the best? The specific thing, or there's the people for the most part. When it's not empty, it's, oh, right. uh, it's got good folk. Well, fair enough. Might need to come uh, more often. When does it normally uh, start getting busy? Miss Sherman, when she arrives, is is here. Uh, usually a few hours before now. Um, she's here at the moment. I think she'll be back soon. Uh, and then I'm not sure who else works here, if I'm being honest. I know there's Pearly, but um, I've never actually seen him behind the bar. There's another Irish <coughs> fella that runs the bar, and he has shindig nights. He has, like, fiddles and everything, and everybody comes and dances and that. Hmm. Oh, I've actually been here for that, but it sounds nice. Uh, you say he, <coughs> he dances? Well, <laughs> no, he, uh, he gets everybody else dancing with his fiddle playing. All right, all right. No, fair enough. What's your name, Villa? I'm Norman. That's nice to meet you, Norman. My name's Joey. My name's Joseph, but you can call me Joey, Joe, whatever uh, whatever you want. Yeah, all right. Are you from across the sea as well, aye? Sorry? Are you from across <laughs> the sea as well? Uh, that is... That is, uh, that is a positive right there. I am. <laughs> What brings you to the crossing? <sighs> a lot of things, my friend. A lot of things. Mostly my family, but uh, that's a long story. 
Fair How about yourself? <clears throat> well, uh, my family all passed away in Scotland and I lived in the Highlands Scotland. and I sold up the, the village shop and came here. I've just been working away. All right, all right. Own a business, a coal business. This is why I'm is that true? to do characters with right. the I mean, there's so many As long as you're doing well for yourself. Scottish and Irish people. No excuses. Uh, server. How about yourself there, their friend? Uh, Elliot Teller, I'm a poet and, well, pretty much good for nothing else. Well, uh, have you have you made any uh, any work? I'd love to hear. Oh, I always have work. Um, let's see. Just earlier, I read a piece about Saint Denis. Oops, I've just gone and dropped my book. One moment. There we are. We all know the struggle. Greasy fingers. Oh, that's true. Um, let's see. Oh, I have an introduction poem actually that I've been working on. It's not my best work, but um. But it's something, if you'd like to hear it. Of course. Your, right, uh, the stage is yours. It goes as such. Allow me... Oh, hold on, this is the wrong one. This is the first draft. Let me find a better one. There it is. All right. Allow me to introduce myself. A vagabond poet at home at the bottom shelf. A wandering wordsmith who's full of himself. If you've need of a poet of words to astound, rhymes and alliteration abound, or prose proud, prancing and profound, unmatched in the art, breaking the heart of upstart scribes with a couple of smart jibes, I'm part vibe and two parts pride. A cocktail of creative collections of words, nouns, adjectives, prepositions and verbs, kicking all other scribblers to the curb. Hold no doubt in your mind, I'm in my prime, my gift for poetry is sublime, bordering on divine. I'm swift with a rhyme and drunk all the time. So if you're a lover, a bard, or a bad speller, who has need of a scribe with skills beyond stellar, then look no further, you found the right feller. Conceitedly yours, signed Elliot fucking Teller. It's good, eh? Well, I gotta say, that is uh, it's not bad. some good writing. It's not my best, but it's not bad. Well, not your best? I, Jesus, I wonder what your best is like. Then. Honest to God, it might be a poem about a blue shirt that I read for, uh, <laughs> for that man right there. But it's uh, <laughs> long since gone to the annals, I suspect, unless you still have the paper. I certainly no, don't. I, I lost it in an accident. Yes, that's all right. It was in my pocket for ages as well. Well, that's the thing about uh, art, isn't it? It's fleeting, with certain exceptions. Uh, I know the struggle. I know the struggle. I was writing a book coffee. about uh, a business. I was actually coming to the last stage of that business, and uh, I lost it in the waters. Fell in my boat and just uh, kind of dropped it while I was trying to grab grab a hold of the boat again. I lost a great deal of poetry in a boating accident myself, so I, I have sympathy. Oh, yeah, hi. Honestly, it's, uh, it was fucking devastating. Yep, yeah, yeah, I've got. Yep, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Just never go canoeing with uh, anything precious. Yes, I've 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 learned that the hard way. Hmm? Yeah, that was honestly uh, no much, more frustrating. No much you can do really. No, I tried praying to the gods, but my prayers went unanswered. Well, uh, it's just uh, kind of getting back on track, eh? trying to get that poet written or, or whatever was in the books, you know what I mean? Yes, I've, I've done revised versions of some of them, uh, but most of it's just gone. Nah. Some commotion Hi. foot. What's going on? the fuck happened to your chaps? Effie bullied me and I've shaved them off. Yeah, come here. But look at him, he looks good. Uh, but uh, it's just uh, getting back on track, eh? I mean, it's a, it's a pin in the arse. Yes, indeed so. But 
Well, that's the nature and the danger of the crossing, I'm afraid. Easy come, easy go. Now, anytime I travel, I keep my books in the bank where they're safe. <clears throat> I might have to be, uh, I might have to, I might have to copy on that. And they'll happily uh, ship your things to other towns if you let them know as well, which is handy. Though I don't travel much, I'm, uh, I'm afraid uh, beasts of the equestrian nature and myself do not get along well, so I'm mostly here in Saint Denis. Well, it's the, it's the best place to live, in my opinion. I tend to agree. Though Valentine has its charms as well, to be certain. Well, I don't know really about the, the muddy the muddy paths, but I do apologize, uh, guys. I need to go and change into a better suited fit. Fair don't enough. Get this weird hunting outfit kind of dirty. No. I think I'm going to uh, go walk over to the theater and just sort of take it in for a moment. Yeah, and sure. Try to wrestle with this concept of writing a play. That'd be good. I can't wait for it. All right. Well, I appreciate that. I'll see you around, I'm sure. Don't forget your coat. Oh, yes. Thank you. I almost did. I take care. You as well. I don't think I'm gonna, so, for those of you that don't know, uh, Elliot didn't always look like this. He used to be a little more clean cut looking. Um, but I think I'm gonna keep him looking like this until I find somebody role playing as a barber. Uh, and then get it trimmed and stuff that way. Myself time to eat. I'll probably end pretty soon. But let's go check out the theater. I have to see if I can remember where it is. Oh, and we should check our telegrams one more time before we go. And then I might stream tonight, maybe, but I, you know, as always, no promises. I'll I'll, uh, you guys can always, uh, uh, keep an eye on my Twitter at thinking underscore quill. Um, and there I will, uh, let you all know when I'm streaming. Is this an actual shop? Oh, it's a gun store. I hope, and let me say, I love and respect everything that the mods have done in this game already. Um, but I do hope we can, like, eventually get, like, more buildings, like, open. 
because there's so many good ones in San Denis. I would love to see the uh, the newspaper offices open. That would be fucking great. <clears throat> Having the coffee house open, that would be cool. Actually, some of those were so close to the telegram offices. Let me check them out real quick. Wait, I've completely lost my sense of direction. Okay. Okay, I know where we are and where we're going. Oh, and Pearly, I think. Yeah. See. Pardon me, folks. Somewhere around here. That's the. So I think it's over there. That's the movie theater, which is also pretty cool, but. and open. But I'm looking for the theater theater. <clears throat> the thing is, I don't know if it's possible to get on stage in the actual theater. I'm assuming it is, but I don't know. I know you can't get to it from the house. But there might be a way, maybe, that the mods can do? I don't know. This is the newspaper building I would love to see opened up. Because it's so pretty outside. It's prettier at night, but it's still... Cool. The San Denis Times Tribune. It'd be so cool to open this building up, but I know it's hard as fuck. A lot easier said than done. I didn't want to resort to my map, but I might have to. Okay, I'm on the right track. <clears throat> yeah, so the last thing that they had, the Artist Guild had, was uh, on the 27th. What day is it? Thursday, right? Yeah. I'll have to reach out to Cora and see if she's planning anything and how it's been going. I feel bad because I've never actually been able to make it to one because my real life schedule has been so fucking crazy. Super cool. Oh, you can get up here. Oh, 
Oh, I would have sworn that you couldn't do this. This is awesome. <gasps> what? Can you enter? Uh, door? Whoa. Okay. That's amazing. And I love it. Change outfit? That's fucking cool. I love that. They put some fucking love into this thing that I did not realize. Is there an exit on the other side too? <laughs> Incredible. I wonder how hard it is to load new interiors. Someday I should take the uh, the journey to read all those. I've seen them around. <laughs> I would swear it was harder to get up there once upon a time, but I could be all wet. Yeah, I think we could probably do something pretty rad with this. <clears throat> 
put on my thinking cap. Because it's a wonderful thing. <clears throat> well, for now, I think I'm going to end it here, right around the 2.30 mark. Um... I have plans later and I want time to eat and stuff. Um, but I appreciate you all for watching. Special shout out to uh, uh, Zico Beto, uh, Wandering Skies 42, and uh, Aki Pass or Aki Pass? Aki Pass? I don't know. Um, thank you all uh, for the follows. Very, very much appreciate that. You guys are a big help in, uh, you know, me trying to do this thing. Um, <clears throat> I will stream tomorrow, uh, almost certainly, unless something crazy happens. Um, I'm not sure what time yet, probably in the afternoon. I have plans in the evening again. Um, and then this weekend, hopefully either Saturday or Sunday, I'll stream in the evening, um, and get some of that sweet evening time RP in. Um, but I appreciate you all for tuning in, uh, and I hope uh, to see you again next time when i log out of this not too conspicuous when i log back in all right folks i appreciate you all and i will see you next time